People look at stories through different lenses. I have my own personal take on some of these trending issues. Hi, I'm Mariah Ramharak and welcome to In Case You Missed It. Hello, I'm Mariah Ramharak and welcome to a brand new episode of In Case You Missed It on Sportsmax.tv. Well, with the Women's Caribbean Premier League set to bowl off in August, I decided to catch up with Windies cricketer Cherry Ann Fraser, who will be suiting up for the Guyana Amazon Warriors this season. Cherry, welcome to the show. How have you been? Hi, good afternoon. Um, I'm okay. I'm doing fine. All right, well, you completed the Ireland Women Tour of the West Indies last month. How have you been spending your downtime? I'm just trying to catch up with some good family time. Um, and yeah, just back out training already. Yeah, who have you been training with? Um, I work with, mostly with my coach here. Yeah. Um, aside from that, like I usually train with um, I don't, I don't know, Mandy and Casey, yeah. Okay. Well, the Windies women, they swept Ireland in both the ODI and T20s. How was that experience for you? Um, you know, it's my, it's been my first series um, after, I think, a couple of months, international series, that is. Um, so it's been a good one. It's, it's obviously been, you know, good to be on the winning side. To finally have, you know, that sweep. That's actually my first sweep with the team since, you know, I've been in the setup. Yeah, and in the ODIs, you were able to snatch two wickets, while in the T20s, you took six wickets overall. Looking back now, how would you describe that series, you know, for you? It's been a decent one, um, you know, returning to international cricket. Um, I haven't done a lot of rehabilitation work, dealing with, you know, injury and you know, remodeling of uh, my body in action. It's, it's been good. My body has been feeling good. Um, you know, for me, it's been a more consistent series as compared to the, the previous one. So that was a good takeaway for me from that. Yeah, really happy to hear that, you know, you're doing well, especially fitness-wise. Your skipper, Haley Matthews, she had a top-class series, both with bat and ball. How has she been as a leader? She's a jokester, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, um, I don't think, you know, this new transition for her has been any different from the person she is. Her attitude hasn't changed much. Um, I think if anything, it has been, you know, a smooth transition given the fact that she's played a lot of cricket around the world and, you know, has um, a vast amount of knowledge about the game. Yeah. Would you say this series sweep is exactly what the Windies woman needed? And I'm saying that especially because for some time, a lot of negative criticism around the ladies. Is this win what you needed to boost, you know, your confidence as you get ready for CPL 2023? Definitely. You know, it's a lot of positive for, you know, all of the girls. And obviously you want to keep building on that. You want to keep building your brand of cricket and having that momentum on your side. So it's definitely a good thing to have that on the above when you're the CPL. Yeah, and when next will the Windies woman be in action? When is the next tour? I think right after CPL, we're supposed to be playing against Australia there. Okay. All right. Well, we're looking forward for that. But before that, this year, you'll be suiting up for the Guyana Amazon Warriors, and that's for the Massey Women CPL. How much of an honor is it to play for this franchise? Huge amount. Um, you know, it's definitely where I'm from. So, obviously, a lot of expectations, and you know, want to make the people here proud. Um, I played, I played with them last year, and this year is no different. So, you know, just want to keep doing good things for my country and franchise. Yeah, and when you're playing at home, I think that must be a special feeling. What was that experience like last year? And what are you looking forward to most for this year's CPL? I think uh, this year should, should be anticipated um, a higher standard of cricket. Um, you know, we have more international players coming in, so 
the standard should be higher. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to. Um, and yes, there's a lot of pride playing for this for this franchise. Yeah, and speaking about pride, you have one of the best leading your team, Stefani Taylor. She will be the skipper again. How is it working with her? <laughs> um, she's a great leader, world class player, um, very composed actually. So it's good. It's good to have her on your side. It's good to have her under pressure in those situations. Um, I'm just happy to have her again. Yeah. Have you set any personal goals for this year's CPL? Like you've thought about it and said, mm, maybe I want to do this for this competition? <laughs> to be honest, not right now. No, not yet. That's okay, mm -hmm. Chair, because sometimes you can still accomplish so many good things without, you know, planning ahead. Maybe you're that type of person where you just let it unfold how it happens. Yeah, I think for me right now, I'm just still trying to focus on my action and, um, I keep building on it. Yeah. I, I don't want to think too far ahead. I don't want to set too much. Um, that's just very much right now. Right. And you are lucky because you get to be on the same team as some of the international talents like Sophie Devine and Susie Bates. How excited are you for that? You'll be playing on the same team. I'd rather have them on, on my side and not, you know, playing against them. Happy to be sharing the same dressing room. Yeah. Um, again, we're class players, so huge amount of knowledge there. So just looking forward to sharing that room and you know tapping into to their knowledge. Yeah, do you think playing alongside these international players can help your game? Definitely a lot to learn from, a lot of experience there. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, and Chair, if we are to look at this squad right on paper, what will you say are some of the strengths of the team? Some of the people that, you know, we really need to look out for this season. I think, um, I think we have, oh, you know, well balanced um, side. You know, a lot of experience there. The definitely are overseas players um, and some of our locals too. And, you know, we have a lot of promising young talents there too. So, just look out for everybody. Yeah. What's for sure is the Guyana men's team. They've always gotten so close to the CPL title, but they've never been able to close it out. Do you think the women can break that curse and win one for Guyana? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you should say yes. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping for the best. Well, Chair, you know, injuries are something. No athlete, they can escape. Nobody can escape that. How do you deal with injuries? That's a tough one. Yeah. That's a tough one. Um, I try to lean a lot on, you know, my support system. Um, people that I'm really comfortable with and I can be vulnerable around. Um, I try to, you know, I try different um, coping mechanisms. You know, I, I listen to music. I accept where I'm at. I try to make the best of, you know, every situation. But yeah, um, I try to lean a lot on my uh, support system. Yeah, I remember you missed the tour recently due to an injury and despite that you came back stronger. You made your mark in the Ireland tour. How are you able to stay focused and not get discouraged? Because I think that has to be some sort of talent. Honestly, I try to remember my wives. I try to remember, you know, where I want to be. Um, yeah, why I'm doing this, what I'm doing it for, those sort of things. And yeah, those those things just keep me going. Yeah, and you would have. I want to keep so, and I, uh, I just gotta keep pushing. Yeah, have to keep pushing. Any word of advice to the young girls who would like to play cricket professionally? Believe in yourself, and um, just stay committed, stay disciplined, and trust the process. You know, it may be hard. Some days it's definitely um, going to be harder than, than others, but just keep remembering your wives and keep trusting the process. Yeah, so we're coming to the end of our interview, but it's now time for the most exciting part. It's what we like to call the rapid fire time. So I'll ask you a question. And you will say the first word or phrase that comes to mind, right? I'm really excited because it's where I get to put you on the spot. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. Ready? You can't take too long, eh? So we're ready. 
favorite food? Okay. Chicken. Rain or sun? Rain, rain, rain. Rain stops cricket. Favorite movie? What? Favorite movie? That work here for mine. Okay. Favorite cricketer? <laughs> Favorite cricketer? Please, Favorite team to play against? <sighs> Barbados. Mm. Favorite CPL memory? Um, what? <laughs> I don't know, something when I did well, when I took crickets. <laughs> okay. ODIs? <laughs> ODIs or T20s? ODIs. Okay. Who has the best fashion sense of all your teammates? <laughs> Come Chimilia. on! Chanel, Henry? Shamelia, Shamelia. Oh, Shamelia, sorry, I, I didn't hear that one. All right, the last movie you watched? I'm not a movie person, I can't remember. Okay. I suck at this. That's okay. One thing at the top of your bucket list. It's your bucket <laughs> exactly. list. What? Um, I don't know. I want to go to Europe. Probably. Okay, that's a good one. Well, that was fun. What I can tell is you don't know much about what you like, Cherry. <laughs> But a lot of laughter, so I want to thank you so much. It has been a pleasure chatting with you, and in case you missed it, I want to thank you so much for your time and best of luck at the Massey Woman CPL 2023. I'll be cheering for you. Thank you. Well, folks, that's a wrap for this week's In Case You Missed It. Be sure to like, share, and comment. Let me know how much you enjoyed this interview with Sherry Ann and which franchise will you be supporting for the Massey Women's CPL 2023. Goodbye for now.